Right. So what I have here is two environments. And as uh, Andrew indicated, you can see the power of the uh, connectors, but at times it takes uh, some knowing, it takes a bit of um, effort to know how to configure things. And it's quite detailed. Is it necessary? Do I have to really care about how to properly configure a connector to just back up my topic? Well, the answer is no. Because thanks to uh, Lenses 5.3, you can do that with just a couple of clicks. So what I have here is a, a two environments. So you can even see our subpath working. So we have one environment under Lily and another one environment under Daisy. And what's happening is I'm going to, well, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm going to head to one of my favorite um, topics, which is about shipping positions. And what I want to do is just back it up. Normally, what you do, even with our own connectors, you'd have to head to the connectors page over here, just like Andrew did head to, well, one of the sync ones. Let me see that one. Fill things in, um, hoping that you're, you know, you've done the right thing. Uh, send it and then you get your backup. But here now, all you have to do is select your topic, action, backup to topic. And then what you need to do is just tell it when you where you want it to backup. So I'm going to use my bucket apples and I'm going to back it up to this prefix. And don't take my word for it. There's no magic here. So here it is. Yep. Uh, this is not mine. Someone else's. So I'm going to back it up under this prefix. I'm going to select my connect cluster where I'm going to deploy the um, uh, connector. And I'm going to put a very quick flush interval just so that we see it happening in, in live action. And that's it. That's all I had to do. And if you head over to summary, you'll see here now that this topic is being backed up. And you can even navigate to the connector that is warming up. So there we go. You're starting to see records going out already. And we can even see it in the topology now. And you will see that this is a slightly different experience to your traditional uh, connectors because this is a special connector. This is a backup connector. And it will also tag both the topic that is being backed up and the connector that is acting as a backup connector. Right, so with uh, data coming into the connector, hopefully we'll start seeing uh, data showing up in our There we go. It's already in place and you can see it's properly partitioned. So the question is, with data already in S3, can we at the same time, you can see them automatically in Avro, can we at the same time start restoring? So then I'll head to my other environment over at Daisy. And what I've done is I've created a uh, fresh topic with nothing in it. So all I have to do here is go, let me zoom in a little bit actions, restore from topic, and again, use my bucket apples. Uh, I'm uh, back uh, restoring from this prefix from my development cluster, and I'm storing in Avro. That's it. So again, if I click on summary, you'll see now that we've populated the restore section so that you know that this topic is being restored. We can head over to our um, connector. It's already warmed up and started. Again, you can see it in the topology. There we go. So you can see now the connector being a source one is showing up on the left side. And this one is actively taking the data that we just shipped to S3 and shipping it to our new uh, topic here. And this is a completely different environment. So effectively, what I'm doing is I'm shipping data through S3 between two Kafkas. The question is, has the data arrived? And if I navigate in, there we go. So how long did this take? Probably less than five minutes. And we have effectively Kafka to Kafka communication.